up, folks? I am UltraZone, and I have a review of the Marvel Legends. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Gwen, and Peter Porker, the Spider-Ham. All right, my zillions, we got a two-pack here from the latest wave of Marvel Legends, um, which is, you know, the Stiltman wave, but for these figures, I'm just pretty much calling them the uh, Into the Spider-Verse wave because that's what I'm here for. I'm in. I'm here for these guys more than anything. Um, and uh, so far, they have not disappointed. Miles was really cool. Prowler was really cool. Uh, I'm really happy to have these two. I do wish they didn't treat Peter Parker here more like an accessory than anything else. Um, but that that's been the case with this character thus far in any form. So. It is what it is. One day, maybe Marvel Legends will give us a fully articulated Spider-Ham, uh, but today is not that day. But is this set good? Let's do the review and find out. Articulation on Gwen. Head is on a hinged ball joint. Get a lot of range of motion there. That's pretty good. You just have an upper body joint here. Nothing else, which I wish there was more. Waist joint, something, because it can't go forward really at all. That can go back. Then you have hinge swivel at the shoulder, no bicep cut, hinge swivel at the elbow, and hinge swivel at the wrist. Legs go out this much, kicks forward, goes back. You got the thigh cut, you got the double jointed knee. Uh, you do have a boot cut, even though she has no boot. And then swivel, I would have preferred to cut over here swivel, uh, hinge, foot, you know, with the rockers. So, there you go. It could be better, but, you know, that's kind of par for the course with most of the female figures uh, from Hasbro. It's unfortunate. And our pal Peter Porker just has a ball-jointed head for articulation, and that's it. Um, wish they did more, but it's more like an accessory. Taking a look at Peter Porker in full. Looks good. It's a very nice little figurine. Um, sculpt is really good all throughout. And I think the paint is pretty decent. I think I see like one errant little swipe of white over his nose here. Is it one of his nostrils? But otherwise, the eyes look good. The, you know, the eyes on the nose looks good. Um, the spider symbol looks good. The blue paint here looks good. Yeah, his little tail. Looking cool, all the webbing. Looking very, very nice. I really like the head sculpt a lot. His ears look nice and cool. They are a little soft, and that looks very nice. Cheeks look excellent. Back of the head. The spider on his back looks good. I like the pose, you know. It just looks fantastic with his arms like that, his fists on his hips, all mad, looking up. Yeah, this is cool. Proportions are very nice. I do dig it. And there you go. A very nice, albeit limited because of the articulation, Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham. Taking a look at Gwen. She looks good. Uh, she does. And I was a little iffy in the package, but I feel like the head sculpt isn't bad. Um, there is some definite, like, scuff marks on mine. Uh, I, kind of all over the place. Little dirt marks. That could be better. Uh, and I don't know if that's, like, the digital printing gone wrong. And you see the digital printing on the mouth has gone wrong. And uh, I'll say this right now. This is super zoomed in. And I cannot see that mouth like that with the naked eye. I would not have noticed that it looks weird. Like she has um, uh, braces. Uh, but the eyes look very good. You know, uh, I do think so. Except, you know, a little bit messy, but not terrible. It's there. The sculpt is there. The paint is there. It's just a little messy. Um, and not like t totally terrible. Um... And again, you don't see a lot of that but in, with the naked eye, but it is there, so I definitely got to point it out. Doesn't make me hate the figure, though, because 
And I think that's what I'm probably saw like through the the box, but um, it doesn't make me hate the figure because the hair looks really good, shaped well, painted well. You can see there's a little bit of wash there. So, you know, if the face were just a tad bit cleaner, it'd be really good, but it's not bad. The little hoodie looks good. The body looks pretty good. It's a little fuzzy around the black edges here. Um, but I could let that go. It's not the worst. The arm shapes look pretty good. The body shape is pretty good overall. Zoom back out so you can see it better. I really do think so. Got some, like, nice musculature, and that's pretty good. The back looks pretty good. Um, line work here all looks decent. There's a little speck of white right there. Whatevs. That's not the worst. The inside of the arms look pretty cool. The pink. And uh, kind of like periwinkle blue. That's not bad. Line work goes out of lines. Just a little bit on that side. But eh, eh. I'm going ant a lot because I, it's it's not bothering me that much. Again, everything looks good on the back side. Um, the boots. Boots? The ballerina shoes are done pretty well, I gotta say. Even some folds and wrinkles in them. Nice, nice attention to detail there. So, not terrible, not terrible here on Gwen. Proportions are pretty decent. So, I'm okay with it, you know? Some mess-ups on the face, um, but not that withstanding. It doesn't look that bad. Again, the math is probably the most egregious, but that's really when I bring it in. And when I'm looking at it, you know past the camera, you know, my naked eye, it's not that bad. So your mileage is going to vary. For accessories, I'm just going to put everything here at once. Uh, like Miles, she just comes with two whip hands, which look good. And that's not really that important. Uh, and the mast head with the hood up, which looks really good. The pink all looks really nice. The blue looks really nice. The eyes are done well. I'll zoom in so you can see it even better. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Hood looks really cool. So let's check out Gwen with this. You're going to have to take that off as well. Let's see, hopefully. See, this one does not have that peg like I showed you guys with Miles. When I do have Miles' head here. Which, um, the peg was there which has that really interesting peg. I really like that better. Um, this is the old school way. And look how fat that peg is. So hopefully I won't have a problem here. Ugh. It went on fine. And it feels like it's a little bit big, in my opinion. Mm. It's not terrible. Definitely not terrible, but it feels like it's a tad bit big. Is it on good? It is on good, so I don't know. What do you guys think? You let me know down below, but I feel like it might be a tad big here. Um, it could be the hood that's doing that, but yeah, it's not terrible. It, it's not. It does look cool um, overall. For your size comparisons, here is a Gwen. And Peter Porker with a bunch of figures you might have in your collections and Santa Claus, because tis the season. And my final thoughts, it's not a bad set. I think Gwen has a couple of problems with the face uh, and the mask head might look a little bit too big, but otherwise I think she looks pretty good and uh, Spider-Ham looks really cool. I do like him. He doesn't have an, like much articulation, just a head on a ball joint, but um, it's fine. Uh, I think the fact that they come together kind of like, you know, negates some of their faults. So is that fair? I, I think it's fair. Um, you get in two figures for the price of one, basically. Uh, I, I could deal with that. So there you go. That's my review. I don't hate the set. I think it's pretty good. Uh, it might be the weakest set, uh, um, the weakest figure well i say that because you know it's two figures um of the uh four into the spider-verse ones but it's still good it's still good and it rounds out that four pretty nicely i do consider them all 
uh, one little subset of Marvel Legends, and I'm very happy to have him. So there you go, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.